A few years ago, in collaboration with uh, Tom Sutula over in neurology, we were working on how genes are controlled in the brain. That, that's what I was primarily interested in. How are genes controlled in the brain? When the brain is developing, when it's learning information, what happens to all the genes, how they turn on and off? And that was my basic question. But in trying to figure out those questions, we realized that some of the things we were discovering about how genes are controlled during learning and memory, they might be really important in how genes go awry in a disease like epilepsy. We realized that we could control genes that are important for epilepsy by controlling the kind of food we eat. And that gave us a link between diet and epilepsy. And we pushed that further and further and further, found it was a robust result. And now there is a, uh, a trial, a clinical trial in Virginia, uh, where a drug which controls genes based on metabolism is being tried as an anti-epileptic drug. So that wasn't the original goal. The goal was just to do science, basic science, which is so important. And the end result, a side result, if you like, was a fascinating insight into a disease, along with a, a possible new drug.